Need a new battery. One of the biggest challenges for both filming ice fishing videos on YouTube and just ice fishing in general is trying to stay mobile with your fishing electronics, and especially if you're trying to film, trying to stay mobile with your camera gear. So I have a solution for both of those. I'm gonna show you right now. So this is the Summit fishing equipment. This is the Garmin XL bundle. Uh, they make units for all different models of either Garmin's or Humminbird's or Lowrance. One thing I would highly recommend either if you have ice fishing, live scope setup, or an open water thing, get the protector. It's like 10 bucks or 15 bucks. Guys at the Bass Tank sell these. For a thousand dollar transducer, it's like $15 in insurance, okay? Especially if you're on the ice, highly recommend something like this. It's super simple to just take off like that and just pops off. 10, 15 bucks. Highly recommend something like that. This is the pole system that they have, that Summit has. It extends out. You can get two different pole models for it. Um, this one is the 18 to 36, I believe. And they make a longer version for those of you guys way up north in the Canadian Shield where you have, you know, three, four, five feet of ice or whatever crazy amount of ice you guys have way up there. But for us in Wisconsin, Minnesota, this 18 to 36 will do the trick. The cool thing about this, one, it's super portable. You can actually do hole hopping. You can also get, you can also attach it. They got this little, they got this little pole mount system so you can actually just set it in like that if you really wanted to and you can do a ton of hole hopping that way I kind of prefer it to have the little separate pole mount that way I can put the sonar unit wherever I want this is the Garmin GPS map 1042 system um, that I have on my boat I use this on the bow of my boat a little side note if you want to film live scope and you actually want to record the screen Make sure you get the Garmin GPS map units. Um, unfortunately, the Echo Map UHD or the Echo Map Ultra units, they do not allow you to record the live soap screen. So, if you want to record screens, get the Garmin GPS map series of units. And they make them all the way down from 7 inches to like 16 or 22 inches. Something crazy like that. I mounted a little phone holder here so I can actually record the screen. So I can hit the record button with the active captain. Push that and start recording the screen. It also comes with, you can also get this attachment. It's a little glow cup. Light up your jigs, light up your lures with that. I did install a GoPro for easy filming because oftentimes carrying this bigger camera around with the tripod, it's a little too cumbersome. What I like to do, just run this GoPro and this GoPro. I just have it wired in with a little adapter plug into the battery. And Jay Siemens makes a great video kind of how to install some of this. Another one is actually, if you just Google Gar uh, Summit fishing equipment, the Garmin LiveScope bundle, there's also another video. I'll link that below how to wire this entire thing together. Let me take this out of the case and I'll show you kind of the back and some of the wiring. And I'm using a 30 amp hour amped outdoors lithium battery for it. Got the GPS map 10.42, which is mounted a regular boat mount frame, it just screws into the bottom of the unit here. Uh, well, you can see that. It just screws into the bottom down there. Uh, this automatically comes with this, this arm system to hold the live scope, like I said. And this is just a, a ram mount for a, a cell phone. You can attach it in there. And I use that to click the Active Captain app to start recording the screen. It's, uh, it's really simple to record your live scope screen with that active captain. The other thing that you can get as an attachment is a little glow cup and it's got a separate power source right here. This button right here turns it on and off and uh, light up your jigs. The battery down here, this is the battery, 30 amped hour, 
the long version, I will leave specs to the exact uh, Amped Outdoors battery that'll fit this, both the Coda Lithium, Amped Outdoors. It's a very specific size battery, but you can get a 30 amp hour in here to power not only your big live scope screen, but also your transducer. You got the black box on the back. The wiring is not the greatest for me. You can definitely wire it a little bit cleaner. Um, if you want to take the time to do that, I might kind of rewire it eventually here. Um, but I keep it mostly in the case so the wires aren't really exposed to anything. You're wrapping your live scope uh, wires around your handle here. And then I got the GoPro mounted right here. Both the GoPro and my cell phone have a separate um, charging port. So I have my charging port for my cell phone and then the charging port for the GoPro so I can charge the, keep the cell phone powered on and the GoPro powered on while still running the live scope all off of one battery. So, which is pretty nice. You do have to keep the Garmin Fuse system in there just in case anything happens, but this is, I did not get any deal with Summit fishing equipment. I paid full price for it. Um, so this isn't like a sponsored thing, but people ask, what I bought for live scope, and this is it. This is the ultimate live scope fishing and filming setup. Some of you probably don't need all the equipment in terms of Garmin or in terms of GoPros and phone gear, but if you wanted it, this is how you do it. I don't know if I'd add anything. I have to admit, as far as mobility goes with a live scope, it's okay. I mean, it's heavy. Um, I've seen a lot of guys with the Mega Live or the Lowrance Active Targets through the ice, they carry them on their own sleds. So instead of kind of using a shoulder strap or something, they actually use just a, a pull sled and go from hole to hole that way. But if you really want to do a ton of hole hopping and be super mobile, this Summit fishing equipment, this is a legit setup. It's a way to go. I filmed this ice fishing video two weeks ago, as of Wednesday morning, I think. Garmin announced the brand new LVS34 transducer, which is the LiveScope Plus transducer. I want to kind of address this in this video because I know a lot of you are going to be researching for either LiveScope bundles for the ice or to mount on your trolling motor. I've seen one video on the Bass Tank. Scott, who's part owner of the Bass Tank, he did a video on the water. I'll link it below. It looks like the transducer does a really good job of clearing up any stitching problems that these LVS32 transducers have and makes it a really clear image. Um, there's no dead zones. It doesn't seem like any dead zone problems anymore. I noticed when ice fishing, I had to change the transducer level on the ice to be able to see my jig straight below the transducer at times. Um, it's typically when you're fishing like 25 to 30 feet of water. I there was a little bit of a dead zone, especially when you're using really small tungsten jigs. Kind of had to adjust that transducer a little bit. Um, I'm probably not going to get the LiveScope Plus transducer this year, maybe next year. Um, just kind of see if there's any bugs with it and to kind of see how it plays out. But the reason I want to put this in the video is because for those of you that have been waiting for a steep discount on LiveScope units, uh, probably within the next six months you're going to see a lot of people selling the older version, which is the dual, see it's got the two cable version of the LVS32 transducers. And they're probably going to be on sale for like five to six hundred bucks. Some guys might be selling both the transducer and the GLS10 black box bundle for maybe nine hundred to a thousand. Um, so you're about to see some really good deals on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, maybe eBay. Um, so that's good news for a lot of you. If you're you're brand new to the forward-looking sonar game and you want to get into it, there's going to be some really good aftermarket or secondary market deals coming out. Um, I'm probably going to be one of those guys selling. A live scope system, probably going to be this fall. I'm I'm, I'm not going to buy the live scope the live scope plus unit just yet. If you are in the marketplace, they do have a bundle deal right now. If you want a brand new one, you can get the 93 SV with the LVS32 transducers for I think 19.99. Um, they still got a $200 discount on the LVS32 transducers, so. If you want a brand new one, you don't want a used one, you can still get them for a discount. You can always pre-order the brand new LiveScope Plus if you want to be front of the game, get the brand new tech. I'm gonna give it a bit. Just give it like six months, see how it plays out with bugs. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Garmin LiveScope setup. 
with the Summit fishing equipment bundle. That's these people right here. Summit fishing equipment. Awesome setup, super mobile, and if you are like myself and you film a bunch of videos on YouTube, it's a very, very useful tool to do a bunch of hole hopping and filming. So, I don't know, I might go find some fish, otherwise I'm gonna just pack it up because February usually the bite gets pretty tough, and when it's negative 14, it's not too much fun to stay outside. So, there's a live scope setup. I'll link everything down below. You can find it down there. Appreciate you watching. If you got any comments or questions about other setups that I have, post them in the comment section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. So we'll see you next time.